Welcome to Power Yoga Blaze number two. We'll start off in mountain pose, hands at prayer position, spread the feet out, shoulder width apart. Take a moment, close the eyes. As you begin to drop into your practice, begin to allow the mind to settle in with the movement of breath coming in and out through the nose. And then go ahead and blink the eyes open, release the arms down by your sides. Take the right arm, reach it up on an inhale. Circle it over and down like yoga qigong as you exhale. Other side, left arm up on the inhale. Circle it over and down on the exhale, loosening up the shoulders. Take both arms up above on the inhale and then bring the hands behind the back, interlace the fingers as you exhale. On an inhale, pull the knuckles down towards the floor, lift the chest up, maybe even lean back a tad. And then on the exhale, go ahead and just fold all the way over and down into a nice beginning of your practice, shoulder stretch. Any tension collected in the shoulders, any accumulated stress, just let it spill down towards the ground below you. Take a last inhale there, deepen that stretch. And then on the exhale, release the hands down to the ground. And then flat back on the inhale, extend the heart out. And then as the exhale, step back to plank pose, pause there. One inhale to find the diagonal from the heels to the top of the head. And then on the exhale, lower down with muscle. Cobra or upward facing dog on the inhale. And then down dog, flip the toes, use the abdominals to pull the hips all the way up and back to so the tailbone shooting up like a mountain peak. And then we'll just walk out that dog, first down dog in this practice, stretching out that body, especially if you're practicing first thing in the morning. Good, coming back to your neutral downward facing dog, take an inhale, press everything back. And then on the exhale, go ahead and walk or jump top of the mat. Flat back on the inhale, forward fold exhale. Circle those arms up above on the inhale. Hands to prayer position, arms down by your sides on the exhale. Circle that right arm up on the inhale. Cross it over and down on the exhale. Take the left arm up on the inhale. Circle it over and down on the exhale. Both arms up above, on the inhale, drive through the feet, lift and reach. And then forward fold on the exhale, almost like a moving prayer. Flat back, flood those lungs with air. And then step or jump back and lower down, vinyasa, strong but light. On the inhale, arching that back. And exhale back to downward facing dog. Couple breaths there. Anytime the mind wanders or drifts away from your breath, from your yoga practice, you notice the mind planning or ruminating, just let that distraction go. So let it be a meditation. Give your mind a vacation, a break from the busyness of your life. One more inhale, stretch back, and then exhale, walk or jump, top of that mat. Flat back on the inhale, heart out, forward fold, exhale. Inhale, float both arms all the way up. And exhale, both hands to prayer, arms down by the sides. Take that right arm up on and inhale. Circle it over and down, exhale. Left arm up above on the inhale. Circle over and down on the exhale. And then both arms up on the inhale. Create a little elevation. Forward fold in that moving meditation. Flat back on the inhale, separate the vertebra. Step or jump back and lower down towards the mat. Cobra up dog on the inhale, not too high, not too low. And exhale, you got it. Downward facing dog. Now from down dog, let's step it up by coming to plank pose. Upper push up position and then forearm planks. You're gonna drop both the right and the left elbow down towards the ground. 
can interlace the fingers and you're rooting down through your forearms and your elbows. You're hugging the navel towards the front of the spine. Now we'll up the ante by lifting the right foot up a couple of inches off the ground. And then you're gonna bring your right knee to your right tricep and you're gonna hold it there for five, four, three, two, one. Right leg back, inhale. Set it down, exhale, other side. Float that left leg up. And then left knee, left tricep, five, four, three, two, one. Left leg back, inhale. Set it down, exhale, plank pose. Come all the way back up onto the hands. Take a good by inhale plank. Chaturanga, exhale. Cobra up dog, inhale. And then down dog, exhale. Press back on the inhale. And then walk or jump. Top of the mat, exhale. Flat back, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Bend the knees, take a seat. Chair pose. Utkatasana, sometimes translated as the fierce pose. So sitting back into that invisible chair, we'll bring both hands to prayer in front of the heart. Take the left elbow to the outer right knee, right thigh, chair twists. Try and keep both knees even with each other. And then check this out. We're gonna take the right arm and we're gonna reach it all the way towards the back. And you can gaze back towards that right thumbnail. Breathe. Good, now back to chair, right up the middle on the inhale. And then hands to prayer on the exhale, other side. Right elbow out or left knee, left thigh. Again, both knees even with each other, heavy in the heels, light in the toes. And then we'll take that left arm and reach it all the way towards the back. Now back to chair, inhale, forward fold, take the plunge. Flat back on the inhale, flood the lungs. Step or jump back, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, up dog. And exhale back, down dog. Right leg up, inhale. Right knee, right tricep, exhale. Right leg back, inhale. Right knee, left tricep, exhale. Right leg back, inhale. Right knee to the belly, down the middle. Let's hold there for five. Four, three, two, one. Right leg back, inhale. And then top of the mat, exhale. Spin the back foot flat. And then warrior one. Both arms, like two blades, straight up to the sky. How's your breathing? Nice, steady breaths. The greater the quality of the breath, the greater the quality of your yoga. Take another inhale, reach up. Hands behind the lower back, interlace the fingers. Take an inhale, knuckles down, chest up. Humble warrior. Go ahead and lower down to your inner right knee, right thigh. Making sure that your right knee stays bent right above your right heel. And then breathe into that right hip. Breathe into where you feel the source of the stretch taking place. That's it. Come all the way back up to warrior one on the inhale, arms vertical. And then vinyasa, lower all the way down, torso horizontal. Inhale, sternum up. And exhale back, down dog, other side. Left leg up, inhale. Left arm, exhale. Left leg cruises back, inhale. Right arm, exhale. Inhale, left leg back. Exhale down the middle, hold five, four, three, two, one. Left leg back, inhale. Top of the mat, exhale, back foot flat. And as you're ready, with steadiness and grace, warrior one. So can you allow every movement to come from a place deep inside of you? It's all about that awareness. Take another inhale, reach up a little taller. And then exhale, hands behind the back, interlace. On the inhale, knuckles down, chest high. And exhale, drop down. Inner left leg, left eye. Good. 
Come back up to warrior one on the inhale, lower body strong. And exhale, vinyasa, lower down, mind calm. Inhale till it feels spot on. And exhale, down dog. Let's take that and come into a little humble warrior flow. So here we go. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right foot deep, back foot flat. Warrior one on the inhale. Hands behind the back, exhale. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, drop low. Come back up, warrior one inhale. And then vinyasa, all the way down with finesse. Inhale, spread across the chest. Exhale, down dog. Left leg up, inhale. Top of the mat, exhale. Warrior one, inhale. Hands behind the back, exhale. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, find that perfect touch. Inhale, come back up, warrior one. And exhale, vinyasa, lower down. Inhale, cobra up, dog. Exhale, down dog. One more round, inhale, right leg up. Exhale, flow it deep. Inhale, rise from strength. Exhale, interlace. Inhale, chest high. Exhale, lower down, inner right thigh. Inhale, back up, warrior one. Exhale, vinyasa. Lower down, let the breath lead the way. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, flow through. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands behind the back. Inhale, lean back. Exhale, drop down, humble warrior. Inhale, back up, strong warrior. Exhale, lower down, vinyasa. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, down dog. Take a big inhale through your nose. Side out the mouth, exhale, let it go. Good, keep the feet as is, and then walk your hands all the way to the back of the mat. And a little break here, so we're just gonna grab opposite elbows with the hands. So put a little box around the head. If you feel inspired to do a little bounce, little sway side to side. Just let your whole upper body yield to gravity. Good, and then release the hands back to the ground. And then like a panther on the prowl, just crawl both hands forward all the way to the top of the mat. Back two. Downward facing dog. From down dog, forward to plank pose. Upper push up, feet together. Spin onto the outer edge of the right foot. Side plank pose. So you lean into the right hand, you reach the left arm up. And then option to come into the tree variation by bringing your left foot up to your inner right leg, right thigh. So left knee to the sky, open up the left chest. Extend the left arm forward and out. Just reach and lengthen. Awesome, left arm back up, inhale. Plank pose on the exhale, set the left hand down. Take one inhale plank, and then drop your right knee down. Lift your left leg up. Extend your right arm forward, sunbird. Spinal balance. From here, we're gonna take the right arm, we're gonna reach it out to the right, almost like a wing. And then your left leg is gonna come all the way around to the left, so it's reflecting what your right arm's doing. We call it the awkward airplane hip stretch. Flex the left foot, press out through the left heel, left leg, and within the awkwardness, keep the breath steady, keep the mind calm. That's it, left leg back. Right arm forward, bend the back left foot in, and then reach back with your right hand, grab that left foot, half bow pose. Start to draw the left shin back. Extend the heart forward and out. Give your spine a sweet caress. One last inhale, half bow, and then left leg back, right arm forward, take a good by inhale, sunbird. Tabletop, set everything down to the ground. Step back to plank, upper push-up. Setting up three yogi-style push-ups, here we go. 
Inhale down, chaturanga. Exhale, plank. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale once more, exhale, rise. Take an inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, yoga teaches us to bend so we don't break. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, press back. Exhale, walk or fly. Top of the mat. Flat back, inhale. Forward fold on the exhale. Speaking of flying, let's fly a little more. Take the left leg off the floor, parallel to the ground, little micro bend in the right knee. And then airplane, warrior three. Lift your torso up level with your back left leg. Spread those arms out wide like wings. Flex that back left foot and all five left toes facing straight to the floor. Now from here, bend your right knee, lower down on an inhale. Straighten the right leg, float up, exhale. Two more, inhale, bend the knee and exhale, straighten the leg. One more time, inhale, bend and exhale, straighten. Take a good by inhale there to soar and then exhale both hands softly to the floor, standing splits. So crawl your hands in towards that right leg. Lift your left leg up to your own degree. You can even grab the back of that right calf with your right hand to gently draw the forehead in. Take one last inhale, standing splits, and then float the left toes all the way to the back of the mat. Runner's lunge. Let's come into a twist here. So left elbow on the outer right knee, right thigh, left hand into a fist. Right hand on top of that fist. Hug through those inner legs, those inner thighs. And roll your navel towards your inner right leg, right thigh. And squeeze your body out. Almost like you're squeezing out a sponge. One last little twist. Crescent pose. Inhale, rise and lift. And exhale, vinyasa, lower down without collapsing. Inhale, cobra, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Big inhale through the nose. And out the mouth, exhale, let it go. Beautiful, walk your hands to the back of the mat again. This time we'll hook the big toes, first two fingers. Get a good grip. And then on and inhale, flat back, pull the heart out. And on the exhale, bend the elbows. Curl the chin in towards the top of the chest. Stretch out the whole entire back side of your body. And then we'll release the big toes. And like a cheetah crawling through the savannah, crawl those hands forward all the way to the top of the mat with that laser-like focus and presence. We're just blazing our way through our practice. From here, shift forward to plank pose, upper push up, feet together. Spin onto the outer edge of that left foot. Lean into that left hand. Reach that right arm all the way up. Option to come into that tree variation. So the right foot up to that inner left leg, left eye. And maybe even reaching. That right arm all the way forward and out. Good, right arm up, inhale. Set it down, plank pose on the exhale. Take one inhale to organize, and then drop your left knee down. Lift your right leg up. Extend your left arm forward, sunbird. Beautiful, take the left arm now, reach it over to the left. Left hand, shoulder height. Take the right leg, bring it all the way over to the right. See if you can line your right ankle up with your right hip. Flex the right foot, and then flirt with lifting that right foot up another inch. All without gripping in the face. So know where to activate, and then know where to soften. Now right leg back, left arm forward. Bend the back right foot in, and then reach back with that left hand. Opposite hand, opposite foot, breath by breath. 
moment to moment, just cruising your way through. See if you can give your spine that perfect, perfect touch, not too deep, not too shallow, but just right for you. One last inhale, find the apex. Sunbird, right leg back, left arm forward. Take a goodbye inhale. Set it down, exhale, tabletop. Beautiful, you guys. Step back to plank, upper push up. Three more yogi style push ups. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale, exhale, hold. Take a goodbye inhale. Lower down, exhale. Inhale, glide your way through your back bend. And exhale, down dog. Inhale, press back. Exhale, walk or jump. Top of the mat. Flat back, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Now lift your right leg off the ground, parallel to the floor. Little micro bend in the left knee. And then taking your time, come up airplane, warrior three. So as you get up to standing and balancing, you can straighten that left leg a little bit more. Fill all four corners of that left foot evenly rooted into the ground. From here we pulse. Inhale, bend the left knee, and exhale, straighten the leg. Inhale, bend, and exhale, straighten. Inhale, last one. Exhale, come up. Take an inhale, get light, get free. And exhale, both hands down mindfully. Standing split, finding the variation that feels right for you. One last inhale there, and then exhale, drop the right foot all the way to the back of your yoga mat, to that lunge. Then we'll add the twist, right elbow into that outer left knee, right hand into a fist, left hand on top of that fist. Each inhale, you get a little longer, and each exhale, you twist in a little bit deeper. Give that one last little squeeze. Crescent pose on the inhale, rise all the way up. And exhale, smooth sailing. All the way down through our last vinyasa. Inhale, cobra up dog. Exhale, down dog. From down dog, shift forward to plank pose, inhale. And then lower all the way down to the belly. Exhale. As you get onto the belly, release the tops of the feet. Extend both arms behind you. Shalabhasana, locust pose. So we lift the chest, we lift the legs, everything off the ground except your lower belly. Just bringing a little strength and a little vigor to our backbone and to our spine. Now interlace the fingers behind the lower back and then draw the knuckles back as you lift the chest up. Make sure the chin slightly tucks down and in so your cervical spine is long. Now bend your feet in, reach back, grab the outer edges of your feet, your ankles, and then bow pose. Just start to draw the shins back, extend the heart forward and out. Just coming into a nice, nice deep healing backward bend. Take one last inhale there. Shalabhasana, legs back, arms back, still lifted. And then finally reach both arms straight out in front of you. Superhero pose for five, four, three, two, one more inhale, lift. And exhale, hands lower down. Twisting cobra to the right on the inhale. Lower down on the exhale. Twisting cobra to the left, inhale. Lower down, exhale. Come up the middle on the inhale. And then downward facing dog on the exhale. Last down dog of the class. Take a good by inhale. Release the knees down, exhale. And go ahead and stand up. 
top of your two knees. Bring your hands around behind the lower back, setting up camel pose. So fingertips can be down or up, whatever feels right. Press into the small of your lower back. Lift the chest up. Start leaning back to your own degree. An option if you want to bring the hands all the way back to the heels. Make sure that you don't let the head crank all the way back. So again, chin slightly draws down so that you're stretching the middle part of the spine, the thoracic. Take a couple more breaths there in camel. Next inhale, come all the way back up. And exhale, hands to the ground. Crawl the knees forward to the top of the mat. Cross the feet behind you. Release all the way down into the sit bones. And let's go ahead and come all the way down onto the floor. Now, as you get down onto the back, you're going to take both hands and you're going to slide that underneath the lower back. And then you're going to lift both legs all the way up to the sky. Now from here, lift your chest, lift your head up, and then on and inhale, lower the heels down towards the ground. Exhale, legs up one. Inhale down, exhale two. Continue on your own for about 30 seconds. Just flowing through some leg lifts and activating that core. Good, one more of those. And once the legs come up, release the head down for a moment. Release the hands from underneath the lower back and then rope climbs. So hand over hand, fist over fist, just start climbing up that imaginary rope. Keep climbing, stay in it. Feel the fire within the belly and move through that fire. We call that tapasya in yoga. It's the fire purification, the fire transformation. Last five, four, three, two, one. Grab the shins, draw the knees in, interlace the fingers behind the head and neck, elbows wide, and then bicycle style, right elbow, left knee, right leg straight, back to middle, other side, on your own. Another 30 seconds here, just flow. And five, four, three, two, one, both legs straight up to the sky. Reach both arms forward. Keep the left leg up. Lower the right leg down until it's about six inches off the ground. Hold there. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch legs, right leg up, left leg down. Hold five, four, three, two, one. Both legs up. Give it one last little reach, one last squeeze. And release all the way down to the back. Ah, draw those thighs into the belly. And then we'll take the right ankle, place it on top of the left knee, left thigh. Take your right arm, slip it down between the legs. And then both hands will grab either the left shin or the back of that left thigh. Thread the needle, reclining pigeon pose, stretching through that right hip. Slow that breath down, starting to make the descent. One last little squeeze there. And then we'll wrap the right leg right over top the left leg, extend the right arm out to the right, and then let the knees twist all the way over to the left. Coming into a wrap leg, spinal twist.
back to middle, unwrap the legs, left ankle on top of the right thigh, left arm reaches down through the legs, stretch through that left hip. And then we'll wrap the left leg snug over top the right leg, extend the left arm out to the left. Take both knees all the way over to the right. Twisting it out on the other side. And then both knees back to neutral, unwrap the legs, grab the shins, draw the thighs in. Curl the forehead up, one last squeeze, and then exhale, Shavasana. Take a final release, let's take a big inhale through the nose, and out the mouth, exhale, let it go as you dissolve into deep relaxation. From here, just starting to bring the awareness back into the body. Draw the knees back into the belly and then gently rock and roll all the way up to a last final comfortable cross-legged seated position. Both hands to prayer position, backs of the thumbs to the center of the forehead, honoring the blaze of light within the mind. Hands down to prayer position in front of the chest, honoring the blaze of light within the heart, stronger and brighter than a thousand suns. Namaste.